It's time for our consumer tech segment, and we're going to be discussing microwaves today, how to use a microwave properly, the ultimate checklist. Well, I've been joined by Sandy Stete, who is the uh, host of the... Um, tech and social tech media. And social media <laughs> trends. No, I used, I used to be there with you. Yes. And I've forgotten that. Yeah, yes. tech and so social media welcome to Welcome to Consumer Tech this Thank morning. you. It's good to be back. Yes. And so... Hmm. This issue of microwave. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. My mom is always up in arms about the about use of microwave, use of in, microwave in the house. But um, the jury is still out there on how healthy it is or how mm. unsafe it is. And all. Tell us, what is the ultimate checklist? Okay, so I have um, some do's and don'ts as far as the use is Fantastic. concerned. Um, I do know that at the moment, research... If you are supposed to be reading about whether it's healthy for us or not, it seems divided to me. I yes. mean, you can read and in do interpretation for yourself. Mm. But for me, it seems a bit, you know, divided. So maybe as we go, go through. through the list, yeah. we'll, we can come to our own conclusions okay. about some of these things. Fantastic. But this is not really about um, even whether it's healthy or not. But if you decide to use it now, how, to use how it properly. yes, you yeah. can use it properly. Super. So I think everyone should know what a microwave is anyone watching but yeah. i don't want to be assuming okay. so if you don't know what a microwave oven is yeah i have a an image on the slide there for it for you so it's an electronic device that mm -hmm. just takes electricity yeah okay turns it into electromagnetic uh, magnetic radiation yeah and then in the microwave frequency range to cook your food. Mm -hmm. So it lets, yes, it needs a lot of energy to do the cooking. Even in standby mode, mm -hmm. they still consume some electricity. Now, what they say is that they cause water molecules in your food yes. to vibrate. Yes. And then these vibrations of the water molecules now generate the heat mm -hmm. that cooks the food. So one thing to note is that, no, two things. It takes electricity yeah. into um, um, waves to cook your food. And then it uses the water content of the food of the food to do the cooking. Mm. Yes, so water in our discussion is going to be to, to, to be key. So when it comes to do's and don'ts, the first thing I would say is it's 2019. When you mm. buy a device, read the manual. The manual. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Read the manual. I mean, earlier this year, and that's even the reason why I'm here talking about this topic. Earlier this year, I mean, I had an incident or an accident with the microwave. Spent mm. a lot of time and money at the trauma center at oh, 37. Wow. Oh, wow. Was in bandages. I mean, I've used microwaves oh, wow. for years. But still, mm. there was some negligence on my part. So, I still think we need to remind ourselves of these things okay. every now and then. When you purchase a new microwave, you have one already, you've never read the manual, mm. please. Go read the manual. Go read the manual. Hmm. Don't take some of these things for granted. Usually, they tell you all of these things I'm about to talk about, Yeah. but um, maybe it might seem too technical, so then we can be breaking some of the things down in here. So the first thing I'm concerned about is the positioning of microwaves in um, kitchens okay. yes or wherever it is that mm. you're using it um, because of the kind of energy it needs to work a lot of times people say experts say you are better off putting it into the wall socket directly. powering it from the wall directly. socket directly okay rather than so extension board okay. and sometimes we have these gadgets that are able to um, permit us to use several plugs into the wall socket no the microwave is a jealous device, please. Okay. Just give it its own wall socket mm. plug and there will be peace. Mm. Sometimes we also put it depending. Maybe you didn't build your kitchen yourself. You rented, so you are just making use of the space. Yeah. You end up putting it too close to the sink. It's an electronic device, mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Water yeah. can and does interfere mm. in the use of, of the device. Sometimes we put it too close to the wall. Now, microwaves, I think on my second slide for my images, they, there's a fan at the back. Oh, yes. So, you know, if, if the second slide is up, I mean, you can see that if you put it too close to the wall, you are definitely disturbing something. Okay. So let it breathe. Mm. Let them, there's a fan for cooling at the back there, okay. among other things. So don't push it too close to the wall, just mm. like a refrigerator. Yeah. Let it breathe on all the sides, on mm. all three sides. Yeah. Let the microwave breathe. Yeah. And like I said, not too close to the sink as well. So positioning it is very important. Mm. Now, another um, tip. 
when it comes to cooking your food, you need to use microwave safe containers. I think sometimes in this bid to get over our leftovers quickly and just jump into something and rush off to go and do yeah. your Netflix or go and watch your point of view with Benadavle, you just <laughs> want to pop in anything quickly yeah. so you can make your way out mm -hmm. of the kitchen. No. Please use microwave safe Contain. containers. Yeah. And the only way you can tell if a microwave uh, a container is safe for use in the microwave is to check out for the symbols on that the container, packaging. the yeah. package. Mm. Sometimes it's not a symbol. Mm. It's just text written that okay. this is microwave friendly on, um, or, or, or it isn't. So I will just take you through some of the symbols that are not... Super. Yeah, so for, for my third slide, my image three, I mean, you may see this okay. on some container. Mm -hmm. Please, it only means that you can put food in the container. Okay. It doesn't mean that because you see food, uh, you know, a cup and a fork there probably... It's microwave safe or whatever it is. This mm. symbol is not the microwave safe. Okay. And a lot of these containers, when they come, sometimes it's not too clear. You don't see the the embossed symbols very well. Okay. Please, this yeah. is not the microwave safe one. Okay. Yes, there is a, a fourth one. Um, this means that you can freeze the container. Mm. As in, you can pop this container yeah. into the freezer okay okay this is not the microwave one because either. some containers will crack will if crack they're, if they're in the, if, 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 in the if they're in the freezer yeah. so this okay. is just to tell you that you can freeze the container okay okay and then the fifth one the fifth slide should have this is just talking about recycling the fact mm. that you see arrows and waves going yeah. there doesn't mean it has to do with the microwave this yeah. is just concerns recycling, so, so recycling okay yeah. now this one the sixth one is for microwave safe yes mm. this is what tells you okay. that a bowl a cup a vessel something mm. is safe it's for safe. use in the microwave. microwave yeah. there is a this, the next slide the seventh sometimes it comes like this as okay. well it doesn't come with the so text with the text, yes. no text so there. basically mm. it's that wavy line you see about three yeah. you should have that okay. and that informs you the eighth one also the eighth slide also has information yes if it doesn't come in any of the two that i've shared mm. yeah i borrowed this one from a, a, a stock website so you see okay. yes so this is what tells you that the bowl you are using the cup you are using you can yeah. actually pop it in into a microwave. a microwave super yes but that doesn't mean that the risk of plastics getting into your food has been erased if you choose a microwave safe Okay. So that is one mm. concern about the health we raise. Mm. The fact that you are using a microwave safe container. container doesn't mean you are totally rid or you are free from contaminating your food. Mm. But at least if you will contaminate your food, it's a, it's a do safe. it with something yeah. that has been approved. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Which has the, the three wavy lines or text explicitly saying okay. that this microwave and um, this bowl can actually or cup can be thrown into the microwave. Yeah. We also have... Um, um, cooking bags and boiling bags mm. these are not too common i've seen a lot of people just throw in what we popularly call ziplock zip lock bags. yes yeah. even if it's not a ziplock brand mm. you pick some from a supermarket okay. or something you put your food in please you if it, in, it hasn't been written on the thing <laughs> that is microwave <laughs> safe please do not pop it into mm. the microwave find yourself microwave safe ceramic glass plastic containers with the symbol I showed you okay. and then use that to do okay. your cooking now foil all hmm. right so foil can you put foil in the danger zone yes the danger zone it's a danger zone <laughs> sometimes you see we do certain things and we get away with it for such a long time we yeah. begin to think it's normal, it's normal. Yeah. I have seen foil catch fire in a microwave I have before. seen some too it was a spark. I was yeah. shocked. And there are times you also see people cooking with foil, yeah. but it doesn't catch fire. No. So when will it be your turn? Mm. You don't know. Yeah. So please don't pop foil yeah. in there because this is not to say every day you do it, it will catch fire, mm. but it's a hazard yeah. capable of happening. Yeah. So be careful with, with foil. And one thing they also say is that um, foil reflects the waves that are supposed to become it bounces it off, yeah. it bounces it off. Mm -hmm. so you sometimes you are wasting time mm -hmm. wasting energy yeah. your health too yeah. yes so 
that is it with the types of things that you can pop mm, into, into a yes a microwave yeah. now another thing is the cleaning sometimes when you have a communal microwave or sometimes you are not even sharing with others it's just the family yeah some microwaves are so filthy it's so filthy that the food is now beginning to cause the device to rust yeah, yeah. you know that the, the vent it has mm. this vent that sometimes can be very vulnerable to rust yeah because people don't clean the their microwave. microwaves yeah. you are cooking it's splashed you know when 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 it starts to boil there are bubbles and sometimes you do get yeah. bits of food around you pop the microwave open you can see for yourself mm. dead fill please clean it and when i say clean it it's not what we popularly call silver shine in no, ghana no, no, that no. you are going to use because the coating everything in the microwave was put there for a purpose yeah. so if you want to destroy the coating or the tent table that yeah. glass and no yeah. just soft cloth mm -hmm. soft cloth these days we the supermarkets have kitchen sections that provide all the provide different, all the different yeah. cleaning tools that we have yeah. you just you can't go and take that wire mesh cloth and say you are cleaning your it's, it's it's not right you destroy the coating yeah. and that also comes with um, repercussions mm. i also know that sometimes you i cook. think we need to remind them to unplug the microwave first yes before they turn start. it off yes it as far off. as on and off on microwaves and you know rules are mm. concerned experts say you should not even use a microwave when the door is open so yeah. i will add that to your tip okay turn it off when you are cleaning mm. even on the socket mm. at the same time to when you are cooking just make sure your door is closed. shut yes yeah. closed mm. yes some microwaves are such that if you don't shut the it's door, it, yes, so it, won't, it won't work. Start, but yeah. they are still telling us how you can do some magic over there. God knows what's happening in your kitchen. But if it's operating while the door is open, you need to be concerned. Mm. Shut it. Yeah. Yes. So still with the filth in our microwaves, pieces of food, sometimes you notice that your food hasn't cooked to a certain extent, but you can still smell smoke. Mm. Yeah. It comes from the food you the the leftover the food that yes left over yes, in the in, in the there microwave. in there sometimes to we shed um the foil mm. pe um, pieces of, pieces of the foil mm. it catches fire yeah causes smoke and it you'll be there thinking oh my microwave is going bust mm. it's, it's <laughs> broken or something no it's the dirt the food mm. the particles the foil yeah. pieces that is causing the smoke there's nothing wrong with mm. the machine so you need I've to take that before yes yeah yes now another thing to cook or not to cook in the microwave hmm. that so one you're, also you're using eat. you're using cooking as separate from warming up warming up okay but you see i think those who created the word cooking also sometimes has in mind they have in mind when you pop something in once it's there's going to be a change okay. in the chemistry of the ingredients okay. or something you've cooked it okay so whether is the traditional cooking as we know mm. it or warming do you want to or do you not want to mm. please just use recipes okay some say i can boil my pasta in there yeah yes mm -hmm. i can boil <laughs> i've even heard with like things like eggs but eggs are sometimes can can explode cooking i, I, I wouldn't try it. yes eggs. cooking an egg no. a whole egg yeah the hard boiled method yeah. or poaching yeah. you can cause an explosion in there mm. so i just think if you are going to cook make sure there's a recipe sitting somewhere backing what you are doing okay. because it's been tried okay. and it's been turned into a recipe for you to follow okay. but for your own means at home thinking maybe you can cook banku in there or something like mm. that just don't do it yeah. unless there's a, res a known recipe out mm. there like microwave popcorns okay yes those are recipes that have been set aside yeah to thrive mm, in, in my microwave. yes okay even those they come with instructions mm. you need to follow that, to follow that yeah. yes so to cook or not to cook consult the recipes mm. and then still on the cooking bit defrosting you know microwaves come some use the sophisticated ones yeah. they come with um, buttons or features that allow you to defrost yes. before you start the actual, actual yes okay. let's learn to use that defrost mm. because a lot of us have it but we don't use it mm. i mentioned earlier that microwaves yes the water content in the food is what cooks your yeah. food so imagine microwaving ice yeah as to microwaving tall like tall ice yeah which one makes sense you mm. are 
actually you can you can you can burn your food when the middle part of the food is not even cooked Cook, yeah so make sure you use the defrost defrost is microwaving the food but is doing so at a pace and with energy that will not cause the burning when inside is still okay. very you know icy okay, okay. So, so it's use going to the defrost. All the ice first. Yes. And then you can heat it. Up heat properly. it up properly. Okay. Yeah, let's just use use the defrost button because mm. it's there. Yeah. But uh, you see, people just put something right from the freezer, leave it on the on the on the Side in the yes for a, while. for a while, and then pop it in with plenty of ice. Plenty in of ice in there. Defrost <laughs> first. I I will be shocked if there's a microwave out there in 2019 that doesn't have a defrost button. Mm. Even the manual ones that you have to twist and whatnot, yeah. they all have some element of defrosting in them. Yeah. Now sometimes people are, <laughs> are also concerned. Cooking my food is it carcinogenic? Mm. What is happening? I think I will leave that one for Akosia. We will we'll do the health. We we'll do that on the health. health I, I was about saying. I think yeah. we we I should we should give that to Akosia yeah. to do yeah. on Monday. But long story short. Mm. The coatings and everything, the materials that are used to make um, the bowls you are using and the microwave itself yeah. do pose some risk. Okay. That one has been established. Yeah. They do pose some risk. So you can uh, um, 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 use that to advise yourself. Mm -hmm. Now about covering your food. So I think on my 11th slides, I had, yes, these things are very cheap, but a lot of households don't invest in them. Okay. So cover your food, mm. but then it doesn't have to be too tight. Yeah. You know, some of them come with perforations and whatnot yeah. to help to allow the yes, steam, the steam to escape. escape. Okay. If not, there will be an explosion. Mm. Okay. okay, so yeah. then sometimes you have to open and stare and just make sure there's even distribution mm. of the food and whatnot, just so you don't cause an explosion. Okay. And then lastly, yeah. changing your microwave. Some advice is that 10 years, okay. change your microwave and so on. But what I would say is one, when it starts smoking, mm -hmm. It's time, maybe. It's time. Okay. And then the humming. When it's cooking and it's humming, mm -hmm. okay. like, it's dying. So all kinds yes. of unusual noises. Unusual noises and, so and stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But one last tip I will leave you with, though, is anytime you're cooking and you hear, like, this puff, boom, or whatever sound mm. in the microwave, mm. first, concern yourself with turning it off. Okay. Sometimes the explosion is waiting to happen. So when you open it and you grab that thing, that is when... It will happen. You oh. harm your kids, okay. you harm yourself. Okay. Yes. So... That is some precaution you need to take after you hear that mm. loud bang yeah. in there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Superb. Well, it's time. Thank you very much, Sandista. Uh, <laughs> Sandista Te is the host of Tech and Social Media Trends on City CBS. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The City Tube, for exclusive breakfast daily content and other City TV programs. Like, comment, and share with your friends.